Recently, there's been a growing market for slim, lightweight, technical and creative professional mobile workstations. HP launched two models to enter this expanding category with the ZBook Create and Studio G7. The only difference between the two laptops is the choice of GPUs. The Create uses the GeForce RTX and the Studio uses the Quattro RTX, depending on your usage. We'll be reviewing the HP ZBook Studio G7 with a Quattro RTX T1000 graphics. Is it up to snuff? Let's find out. Lift the Studio G7 out of the box and you will be met with a grey exterior colour with a large ZBook logo on top of the display lid. Your fingers touch the beveled chrome lathe edges, making it easier to lift the display lid. Weighing in at 1.73 kilograms or 3.84 pounds, which is 22% more compact. There's no flexing anywhere on the keyboard deck and the lid is well supported too. The dimensions have been shrunken down 14% thinner to compete with the Apple MacBook Pro 16, making the Studio G7 slightly smaller than the MacBook and only a little taller in height. Plus the MacBook Pro is heavier at 2.0 kilograms or 4.3 pounds. The Studio G7 has passed 21 military standard 810H tests. The internals are fairly straightforward to access. Loosen the 7 Torx T8 screws on the bottom cover, release the edges near the hinge and lift up the bottom cover to reveal the components. Unfortunately, the memory modules are soldered on to accommodate the compact mobile workstation dimensions. The PCIe NVMe M.2 SSD is replaceable along with the battery. This review model has a new 15.6 inch 4K Dreamcolor IPS display panel. The matte finish is preferred over AMOLED and glossy touchscreens. Colours are accurate, vibrant and vivid thanks to 100% DCI-P3 HDR400 display with Pantone validation and 10-bit colour. At 600 nits, the HP ZBook Studio G7 is king of brightness. You'll find that you can easily dial it down to 50% and still work comfortably. When you need to work in bright conditions, this anti-glare panel has no issues. The webcam and IR sensors have shrunken on the thin bezels to accommodate the 87% screen to body ratio. On the right, we have one power connector, two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 ports, HDMI port and SD 4.0 media card reader. On the left we have a nano security lock, USB 3.1 type A, 5 gigabits per second with charging and a headphone microphone combo. Wireless connectivity is managed by the Intel AX201 Wi-Fi 6 2x2 and Bluetooth 5.0 combo. There's a noticeable difference in faster wireless speeds when you connect the studio to a modern AC wireless access point or Wi-Fi 6 router. Bluetooth signal is good with cordless headsets or mice. The keyboard is designed with quiet typing in mind, butterfly keys, anti-rattle brackets and two-level backlighting. There is 1.3mm key travel with good tactile feedback. In practice, the keys are really quiet for typing in lecture theatres, libraries or busy meeting rooms. The keyboard is spill resistant and there's a drain hole in the main vent underneath. There's no space for a number pad, but there is a programmable hotkey to launch an application or website. The keypad has Microsoft Precision Driver multi-touch gesture support. The glass touchpad is generously large in size with a smooth glide action. No issues with using it for hours on end. For those with OCD tendencies, the touchpad is central rather than to one side. My god, the audio on the Studio G7 is amazing. Lots of depth, detail and the bass. Where did that come from? Volume is really loud without getting distorted. Most of the time you find 15% volume is loud enough. The three speakers are tuned by Bang & Olufsen with bass down to 150Hz and volume up to 179dB for accurate audio workflow. The slim webcam unit is surrounded by IR sensors and dual microphones along with a further two microphones on the display lid, giving superior microphone audio during Zoom or Teams meetings. The same can't be said for the 720p webcam which is so poor with grainy footage that I would rather go out and spend the loose change from buying this 2.5k laptop with a better webcam. This review model has an Intel Core i9-10885H Comic Lake processor running at a 2.4GHz base frequency up to 5.3GHz with Intel Turbo Boost technology. 8 cores are ticking at the heart of the CPU with a power consumption TDP of 45 watts. With this in mind, HP have designed vapor force thermals with a vapor chamber to distribute and transfer the heat generated from the CPU and GPU. 
Twin polymer fans suck in and blow out hot air through the three vents at the side and by the hinges. Fan noise is kept to a minimum of general usage. When it spins up, it gets loud for around 30 seconds before dying back down. Other times during heavy tasks, the fan stays on and it can be annoying in noise. The laptop never gets too hot to use, even when under load, it only gets slightly warm. Side left vent never gets too warm either. The fans do a great job of pushing out the hot air. On the Cinebench stress testing, the Studio G7 scored an average of 3,494 points. The CPU sustains 4.3 GHz consistently thanks to the excellent thermals. PC Mark 10 benchmark produced a score of 4,699 points and 4,412 points on Superposition benchmark. The i9 10885H is partnered on the Studio G7 with 16GB of DDR4 memory and the Samsung 512GB of PCIe NVMe M.2 SSD storage. Performance is strong in Adobe Creative Cloud task. Premiere Pro took 26 and a half minutes to encode nearly 11 minutes of a 4K60 video. The Studio G7 is also highly capable with Autodesk and SketchUp. Here's a list of the target audience for the HP ZBook Studio G7. Product developers SolidWorks, Autodesk, Creo. Architects Revit, SketchUp, Unity. Creative professionals Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere Pro, Blender, Final Cut. Graphics is looked after by the integrated Intel UHD Graphics 630i GPU and discrete NVIDIA Quattro T1000 with Max-Q design, 4GB of GDDR4 dedicated. The Max-Q variants are clocked lower and work in a more efficient state. When taxed, the GPU stays at around 67 Celsius. Depending on your work requirements, HP offers higher discrete graphics models from the Quattro T2000, Quattro RTX 3000 and 4000, right up to the flagship Quattro RTX 5000 with 16GB of GDDR6 memory. The Quattro T1000 will happily run most games in high 1080p settings if you fancy a spot of gaming after hours. It's behind the GTX 1650, but games like Forza Street from a couple of years ago runs perfectly. Newer titles like Flight Simulator 2020 will run fairly smoothly in slightly lower detail. The ZBook has a plethora of security features to keep your data secure. There's a fingerprint sensor, Windows Hello facial recognition, microphone mute button, TPM 2.0 chip, HP SureSense, HP SureClick and HP Client security with security applications like SureRun and SureRecover. The Studio G7 has a large 6-cell 83 watt-hour lithium polymer battery to keep up with the high-end hardware specs. The battery lasted 6 hours of video playback with 50% brightness and better battery. In my general usage of the ZBook, surfing, Spotify, office tasks and emails, the laptop lasted around 6 to 7 hours. If you're running Blender Animation or Adobe Premiere Pro at full performance, expect 2 to 3 hours. Luckily, with the 150 watt slim smart external AC power adapter you can recharge the battery pretty rapidly from 0 to 67 percent in around 30 minutes with fast charging. Top 3 pros and cons before buying the HP ZBook Studio G7. Dreamy display. The Dreamcolor 4k screen is a joy to use as a creative professional. Accurate colors, excellent brightness levels and a matte finish to reduce eye fatigue. Sonic speakers. The speakers on the ZBox Studio G7 are special. When you first play a tune on Spotify, whether it's the latest pop song to rock, sound is rich with a powerful performance. Dynamics is impressive along with a deep bass that most laptops don't have. Compact Workstation The ZBox Studio G7 has been trimmed down to a compact and thin dimension for a mobile workstation. You can easily take it around with you or without compromising on top hardware specs. Limited Memory the Studio G7 and its twin, the Create G7, has soldered on memory to keep its compact size. Therefore, it would be wise to order the maximum 32GB memory model, as you won't be able to upgrade it later. Poor webcam. Not sure why HP didn't include a privacy shutter, whether mechanical or electronic, with the Studio G7. If you're paying nearly several thousand pounds for this workstation, I'm very surprised that they couldn't factor in a privacy shutter or a decent webcam. Fan noise. When the ZBook is installing a heavy game like Flight Simulator or encoding a 4K video, the fans can hit some audible noises to be distracting. 
Wish it came with the HP Command Center like on the Spectra or, and Envy models to give you the option whether you wanted full performance or silent mode rather than relying on the BIOS to decide. There's healthy competition in the slim mobile workstation category. What are the alternatives to the ZBook Studio G7? In no particular order, here are some to consider. Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 3 15 inch. Dell XPS 15. Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch. Gigabyte Aero 15. Razer Blade 15 Studio. The HP ZBook Studio G7 is a beautiful compact mobile workstation designed for someone who wants powerful components to help them achieve their daily tasks with minimum effort. It's no surprise that HP is aiming at the Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch crowd. Gorgeous built quality, 4K dream color display panel, top CPU, GPU specs and excellent audio speakers ensures the Studio G7 goes toe to toe if not exceed the MacBook Pro in features. However, like the Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch, the ZBook Studio G7 is not cheap. You are paying top dollar and upgrades are limited due to its small dimensions. If you need more memory, power and upgrade options, go for the HP ZBook Fury G7. Otherwise, the HP ZBook Studio G7 won't disappoint. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP ZBook Studio G7 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.